it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and happy Saturday. I hope you are having a fabulous weekend. I am actually on call this weekend, so probably not a ton of scrappy time. But um, not only is it May I Scrap Lift You, but it is also Scrap Timber. So for the month of September, I am scrap lifting the amazing Scrappy Sisters, as well as Laura and Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. And today is Jess's turn. So I love this layout. I, I love triangles. I love the look of them. I suck at them. And we won't even discuss um, how long it took me to make these triangles. And that's why they were done off screen. And I took them to the sewing machine and stitched around them as well. And then I popped them up on some Big Mama phone tape uh, from Spiegel Mom Scraps and put them down. Now, my photo is a little bit bigger. It is a four by six and it is of uh, me and my husband and my daughter and we are at one of my son's baseball games. So I am using the Good Vibes 6x6 paper pad because today's scrap timber prompt is 6x6 paper. So I thought it was perfect. This is one of my favorite collections. I'm kind of surprised how much paper I have left, and I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that um, it has probably been bought several times. So I'm going to do one small mat on my photo here. I'm going to pop up the bottom so that it is the same height as all of the triangle starbursts. And then I am going to dig into what I have left from the ephemera pack. Now, in addition to that, I had a cut apart sheet from Click Kits from like 2018. Um, and it goes absolutely perfect with this collection. So most of these pieces that I am putting on now are all from that cut apart sheet. I just cut it apart previously. So Jess did all of her embellishing on either side of her photo, so I am going to do that as well. I have a couple of tags and a couple of tickets, which is perfect because we're at a baseball game. Um, there is a hexagon that says, let's go. A couple of words that say, love this, um, awesome, great, uh, that type of thing. And then... I love this hooray, but um, it's just really too big. So I am going to find another absolutely perfect piece, and that's this one right here. It says number one fan, and so I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. I end up deciding that I want it on the left-hand side because the border of it is that same cork that's in the right-hand side bottom starburst area. Um, and it was too much right next to each other. So I figured, oh, it just needs to go on the other side. I did have a label. Um, and that's pretty much the design of my layout. So I believe I go off screen and glue everything down because I guess I don't have enough to talk about while, while you're watching me glue. So I guess that's why I cut it out. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but I think that's what it is. And so Jess has tons of these splatters on her layout. So I decided to pull in some more of that black since I have a white background. And I'm going to do splatters just on the bottom like she did. Um, I do think I get a splatter in my hair and I was like, I don't know that I want to touch it and smear it. Um, but I think when all is then done, I think it actually does. I am able to get it off without it smearing. Now she has some wood buttons in her design and I did want to add some sort of circular dimension piece. So I am going to go with these simple and sweet enamel dots from Pink Fresh Studio. They also cover up my tag holes perfectly. Um, 
and that's gonna do it so there is my layout if you have any questions please leave them down below um, check out everybody who is playing along with may I scrap lift you give Jess some extra love today and then I will have a link for the uh, playlist for scrap timber um, where you can see all of the videos of everybody playing along this month. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you. And there is my final layout again. So remember to wear your crown and I will see you next time. Bye.